cost on our platform is given that we are 8 9 million consumers uh, with about 4 5 years history uh, we tend to know a lot about what people like and we are able to target people probably better we can reach out to a much wider audience uh, in terms of you know traffic on our site itself uh, we crossed a billion page views last month. Uh, again, very few companies probably have that scale. Uh, so there are a lot of eyeballs just coming on our site, although we are a pretty much a transaction site. Uh, so again, just that itself is huge uh, fodder for a lot of people in terms of looking for visibility. So it makes sense to be on our platform. Uh, so that's, you know, that's a a sort of bird's eye view in terms of what we do on uh, <coughs> the cinema business and the events business. Uh, I just spent a little bit of time in terms of going forward some of the areas that are of importance and where we intend to focus. Uh, I think one of the areas that we've identified is of course monetization of that traffic. Uh, a billion page views, 40-45 million visits is a lot of traffic every month. Uh, and we have a separate team I think that now looks at monetizing that from different elements, whether it's uh, you know home page skinning, whether it's your general CPM based ads on our site, whether it's uh, innovations like I don't know if you guys have opened our app lately, you'll see a small little Samsung ad that comes when you start the app. So that sort of thing where you know it's there for five six seconds, it doesn't really affect your transaction. We don't do anything while you start transacting, but. Uh, there's a lot of value in you know in, in each of these things, and there's a there's a dedicated team that works in terms of building out that whole uh, sales piece for us, and it's going to be a big driver in terms of value in terms of uh, our profitability uh, going forward. Some of the other areas that we are looking to you know work on is also build out the whole uh, content side of the story. So today, if, although we have content on a site and that's why people actually come. It's largely around, you know, events and movies that we ticket. And it's a, it's all about reviews and it's a little bit about, you know, the show times and, you know, maybe some synopsis, etc. But very little, you know, content that is, you know, outside of that. And that's a whole, that's, it's a very, very big year for us moving forward in terms of trying to now expand the horizon of what we are able to deliver to people, uh, whether it is, you know, discovery of, I, you know, uh, things that are happening around your city, which are even non-ticketed events, you want to find out, you know, things in art or things in music or things in, you know, is there a blues festival or blues music playing anywhere in the city, those sort of things which, which are difficult to find, uh, we're trying to build out a platform to sort of help you that discovery. Uh, we are also looking at building a platform to sort of uh, better manage the whole uh, discovery of indie artists. So there are a lot of these small time, uh, small independent artists, bands that you know that want visibility, that want uh, to be seen, but aren't able to really go out and do that. And you know, try and sort of manage the whole band venue and fan sort of. Uh, trio, so that the discovery of these artists, the uh, venues need artists, so that they can people can come, and fans need to know who's you know who's playing where. So that whole sort of platform is another product that we are building out, which hopefully will come out very soon. So there are a lot of these slightly more you know on the fringe plays that we're looking at to sort of close this whole ecosystem of entertainment that's happening, and you know look to help build the all the stakeholders in this process, right? Whether it's the venues, whether it's the event management company or the producers, and whether it's the artists or the teams themselves that are actually going out to play. So that's really a you know bird's eye view of what Book My Show does. Uh, some numbers in terms of the scale that we are. Uh, so five million tickets a month, we do over a billion page views. Uh, there are about two hundred 20 odd cities now uh, and on the event side of things we probably are 75-80% of the market. On the movie side of things I think there's a lot of headroom. We are 
were probably only about maybe 20 percent of the box office uh, and we clearly can get to 40, 50, 60 percent of the box office as we go. Uh, one of the big challenges in that is of course uh, credit card, debit card, usage, penetration and the whole uh, you know uh, risk averseness of a lot of people who don't want to use these instruments. And that's why in a lot of the other e-commerce sites we are 70-75% still COD. And today every one of these 9 million customers on Bookmash will actually use the credit card or debit card. So there's a little bit of you know challenge there and how do we look uh, how do we address the 30, 35 million COD customers. Uh, and that's another big area that we're looking at in terms of you know trying to create a cash card and an ecosystem where people can actually use cash to fill up this card and then it's linked to an account and you can then <coughs> use it to sort of buy tickets, especially in the smaller towns where uh, you know the penetration of these instruments uh, is much lower than in the big metros. Uh, so those are some of the areas that we're looking to grow. Uh, internally, uh, like I said, I look after marketing, you know, CRM, analytics. Uh, so some of the things that we do there, on the marketing side of things, you may have seen we, you know, last year we came out with our first branding campaign, uh, ATL campaign. We never actually, you know, we never had the money to actually go out and advertise before. So when we, you know, recently, I mean, in 2012, we got a second round of investment. Uh, to Axel Venture Partners and earlier this year we got a third round where Axel and Network which is now Reliance uh, invested and along with that we got CF on board as a third investor. So we have <coughs> investors, uh, all marquee sort of blue chip investors. Uh, so we went out and you know created this first campaign uh, last December and this August you would have seen a second campaign uh, that we launched, uh, which was really the Mukia to Mukia, which is the whole insight on, in terms of movie tickets being bought, score of the minute, last minute. You know, nobody really makes plans anymore. And how do you sort of capture that mood and capture that? You know, when people think of a movie, uh, they think of book my show. Uh, so that's you know, so we we did that. We we relaunched our whole brand identity about a year back. So you would have seen the logo also change. Uh, we had that ball and the hand for many many years and we changed that to a more flat look, a more modern sort of look inspired a little bit by iOS 7 when it came out uh, and so it's just put my show with the you know with the ticket around the mine now. So some changes happened over there uh, and we continued to sort of work uh, you know on various ways now to sort of try and reach out to a larger audience on the marketing side of things. Uh, work a lot with uh, other e-commerce players to try and you know cross market, uh, uh, tap other people's customers and help them get our customers. As long as obviously it's it's complementary business, uh, so work along you know along that along those lines. Uh, on the CRM side of things, uh, we do a lot of work on. On, on understanding and targeting our consumers. Like I said, we have about 9 million consumers. Uh, we send out about maybe 10, 12 million emails a month. The idea is that you know we don't want to uh, overload any, any particular customer with any communication. So how do we manage sending out the right communication to the right customer, whether it's email, whether it's notifications, whether it's uh, SMS, we don't use that too much, but email notifications largely. Uh, so there's a lot of, you know, back-end analytics that goes into who sees what, what are the propensity to watch a particular movie, a particular event, how do you, uh, you know, target a certain set of consumers. Uh, if you have a certain type of event which is profiled, who are the people who are most likely to watch that event. So a lot of stuff goes around that and then we also use uh, you know things like uh, a few innovations. So recently we've started. Uh, if we send you an email for a movie, uh, you will get a direct link to your uh, last transacted cinema in that email. So every person will have a link to their own cinema. You 
click it and you just go and book it directly at that cinema. Uh, we are also trying other innovations where we know that you like watching a movie on a particular day, we block two, three, four seats depending on typically what you buy. Uh, and we send you a link saying that click here to pay now. And if you if you sort of do that in four or five hours, whatever amount of time you can you know keep to sort of block it, you don't even have to go out and choose your seats. It's all chosen based on your preferences and you can simply, you know, press a button and buy it. So a lot of things around targeting, around uh, you know, make, trying to understand consumers better. Uh, we do a lot of work at the back end to understand cohorts, understand repeats, understand people who have lapsed out, what to do to sort of get them back. Uh, so a lot of exciting stuff uh, in the whole CRM space. Uh, we continue to sort of invest in new technologies that help us uh, understand all of this faster. So while it may have taken us a week earlier to sort of figure things out, now it's about two, three days. And we're trying to get there where we can actually do this in real time. Uh, and so a lot of work going around that <coughs> space of things. On the analytics side, again, <coughs> it's really used to uh, augment and support a lot of the other business areas. So for instance, a large part of that work goes into supporting CRM. Uh, a lot of the output of CRM happens, you know, based on what analytics throws up. Uh, we also have a we also have a, a, a strong sort of web analytics team. So analytics really has two areas. One is the CRM transaction customer analytics, and one is the web analytics, which is really understanding the browsers, how many people are coming, what do they do on your site, which are the pages that work, which are the screens that work on mobile, you know, how do you increase your funnel, how do you improve your conversions, and you know, all of that. So there's a whole team that we already looks after that. Again, a very interesting area. Uh, it's an area that we need to improve on, uh, you know, going forward. Uh, and a lot of uh, time, effort, money is now spent to try and understand that side of things better. I think it's a very important and interesting sort of even a career choice. I mean, there's a huge, I think, dearth of great people who understand web analytics. And a lot of every e-commerce company needs that, right? Everybody needs to understand what people do on their web, how to make. Uh, consumers convert better. I think that's the holy grail of e-commerce. I think Amazon does a great job. A lot of the big Indian companies are doing a reasonable job. But there's still not enough people out there who actually know how to do it. Uh, and that's, a, you know, that's an interesting area if, if anybody's interested in. Uh, other than that, uh, you know, we have some marketing work we do for events. So we help actually event organizers. Uh, help them uh, you know in terms of marketing strategies in terms of pricing in terms of ticketing strategy uh, when should you launch what should be the pricing what should be the bands uh, again all out of analytics we you know understand the history of when people typically buy what do they buy what are the price points that sell for a particular venue or a particular artist uh, and you know actually go out and work with a lot of these event organizers to help them sell more tickets and that's that's you know, increasingly going to be our bigger contribution uh, rather than simply providing a platform for tickets to sell, go out and proactively try and, you know, sell 20, 30, 40 percent more tickets than, you know, they typically would have without us. Uh, so that's again a huge uh, target uh, focus area for us uh, in the marketing team. Uh, and then there are a couple of other small areas that we've, you know, recently launched so one is you know we're doing a little bit on loyalty side of things we never had a loyalty program so we're trying to uh, create that and you know work has been you know happening around that piece uh, we're also uh, starting our own wallet cash card product like i said and there's a team that works on that and that's again a very interesting product uh, you know a lot of people have tried cash cards in the indian market in the past but none of them really worked you have Xcash, cash you have a couple of other guys uh, but again, traction is very, very small. So how do you create a product that, you know, you can actually have three, four, five million users over, over two years uh, and create a compelling value proposition for that. So it's got marketing, it's got technology, the product has to be easy to use. It's got a lot of operations uh, uh, because you need uh, to tie up with 100, 200,000 outlets, uh, you know, accept cash, collect cash, reconcile accounts, you know, all of that. So, you know, fairly large 
uh, piece of work, but you know, again, very, very interesting. It's something that you know we again put in a lot of time and effort into, and you'll see something coming out very soon in the next few months. Uh, so that's really what we do on the market.